Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm so excited what's going to be through this waterfall when we get there. Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to El Dorado, created by the incredible Albrus and Warren G. Now, you may all be wondering and asking yourselves, Matty, where is all the B-roll for this video? Well, in typical Albus and Warren style, they have given me a park and given me strict instructions to not look at anything until I film the spotlight. So starting in this cave right now is the extent of my knowledge. I mean, it's a lovely cave. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a bit dark. Has anybody got a torch? I got... Oh, the, whew, there we go. I got a little bit scared then. And the only thing I know is that I need to put this guy into plipcam mode. And that is about the extent of my knowledge of this park. I've got no idea what we're in store for today. And it's almost poetic that I'm ending the year with a final spotlight from Alvarez and Warren after starting the year with one of their other parks, Lord of the Rings. So they've completely bookended 2023. But anyway, right, let's get on, shall we? So we need to put this guy into plipcam mode. So let's do that, shall we? Right, so here we are in plipcam, and I don't know what we need to do now. Oh, oh there's a sign here. Sink me, you bilge-sucking landlubber. You're still alive. You fell off the ship whilst drunk. Oh, that sounds about right. Yo ho ho ho. That that sounds like Santa, I'm sorry. Your mates are already ashore. Go talk to Philippa Plipcam, you scallywag. Better start swimming. Yo ho ho. It, it, it really does sound like Santa. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be piratey, not Santa, but oh well. Right. Right, let's go swimming. Look at the terrain forming around here. Wow. Right, come on, let's go and find Philippa Plipcam, shall we? So I know that the park is hidden, and we have to go and find it. What's over here? Is there anything on here? Nope. Okay. Oh, I can hear rides. I can hear them off in the distance. We've just got to find it. Right, let's go swimming to shore. Anything over there? No. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. We're going to find Jack Sparrow on here. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, now that is cool. Are all of these named? I'm going to have to go through, aren't I, and try and see. Oh, no, but I need to stay in Plip Cam. So I can't really click on them. Right. Philippa, where are you? Oh, there's a sign here. Plip me good. You really made it, old sea rat. Can't plipping believe it. Well, here is the next challenge, so listen up, mother plipper. <laughs> See that fat plipping crack? Hey, eyes up here. The one over there, it leads into the thick bush. <laughs> there are two sequences hidden that need to be activated in order to open the final hidden door. Following so far, plip face? I'll wait for you at the first sequencer. Now plip off and get going. Wow. Are you trying to get me demonetized here? Wow. So we need to go into the bush. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Let's come through here. It really does feel like we're on an adventure here. So we've got to find some sequences. Oh, wow. Oh, this is incredible. Look at the waterfall! Oh. Do you think that 
is the door into the park. I think it might be. So we've got to find the sequences to open said door. Oh, this is so good. Just all the terrain. I mean, look at that right there. That's absolutely incredible terrain forming and foliage work. There's a path down there. Oh, I found a bridge. Oh, there is the guests. So I can see guests, so we must be close to the park. Um, what 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 is going on here? What am I stuck on? Thank you. There we go. Oh, there's another sign. And a sequencer. Woo, you made it all the way up here. Unbe plipping believe <laughs> unbe plipping believable. Your sorry old ass must be exhausted. Well too plipping bad, because there's another sequencer needed to open the final door. Are you smart enough to get the clue, Plip Face? Okay. I'm probably not, no. I'll be waiting at the next one. Small hint, a previously closed door just opened up. <laughs> you might be as smart as a chickpea, but you still have eyes, right? Yeah. Well, one at least. Right, so, let's turn that on. I need to turn that off, play the sequencer, go back, hide the hood, Oh, I can hear something opening up. Right, let's go back again. There was also another path that I didn't actually look down, so I want to have a look down that as well before we go through into the park itself. This is so immersive. This is crazy. Throw, so through the underbrush. There you go. There's the door that's open. There is another sequencer. But I do want to just go and have a quick look back here a second. Because there was a lower down path that I wanted to look at. The problem is, am I going to get lost if I do that? So that's where we came in, isn't it? Wow. Oh, there's a coaster above us, look. It's like a Horizon Forbidden West or something in here. I feel like Aloy. So what's down here? Oh, so we've got some doors down here. So I wonder if that's maybe the park entrance potentially. It might be because there are guests here, look. So... Where are they going? I don't want to ruin it for myself. So let's go and push that sequencer. If I can now find it again. So back through here. This is insane. Uh, no, not that way. Just all the sounds. Just all around me. Cut my legs off and call me shorty. You're not quite as dumb as you look. Well, well, you made it this far, but will you be able to find the final door? There is another clue behind me, but knowing you, Mother Plipper, I'm not sure it makes a difference. Anyway, just in case your chickpea brain sparks a fire off in enlightenment, I'll be there. So long, Plip Face. <laughs> and those are the doors that we were just looking at, so maybe that is where we need to go. So if we click on this, and then I'll have to put the hood back on again. Play that. Go back. Hide the hood. And let's go back where we were a second ago. Which way was it now? It was this way, wasn't it? I am loving this. This is so unique. And... Is it this one? <gasps> We've opened a door! Is this going to be the park? 
Oh my days. You plipping made it. Admit it, someone smarter than yourself must have helped you. Right, plip face? Yeah, Chrissy told me all the answers. Anyway, there isn't much standing between you and the hidden city of plipping gold. Damn right, Mother Plipper. Gold! All that's left to do is fixing up that broken-ass boat station. Even your clunky hands can do that. Just put the ride in test mode, jump on the front bumper, and get the plip out of my sight. Make sure to get off at the next station. Enjoy the ride, Plip Face. You are determined to get me demonetized. Albus, I thought you liked me. I thought you supported the channel. And here you are trying to sabotage it. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. This is crazy. I'm walking down the exit. <gasps> look at the waterfall! Oh. Right, okay. Let's go to the boat. I love this station, just how abandoned and run down it is. I know I'm not walking down the queue. I know that the queue is... Well, to be fair, am I even able to walk down the queue? Barely. Oh dear, I'm not sure I want to go on one of these boats. I mean, one of them sank. Oh dear. Oh, this is so cool, Albus. Right, so... We need to put this in test mode, jump on front bumper, and head over to the park. So let's do it, shall we? I am so, so excited. Right, so off we go. Of course we're going to talk through the boat ride because I actually want to see the park as we get there, as we arrive on this boat. I mean, just ugh, look at all this terrain forming and foliage around here. It's absolutely insane. So good. Excited. Is anybody else? I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at the gates. Oh, that's very golden. Gold. Always believe in you. I'm so sorry. I'm just excited. I can't help it. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm so excited. What's gonna be through this waterfall when we get there? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Um, can somebody help me, please? Uh, just, just a second. My jaw is on the floor. I need it picking up, please. What have you guys done? I'm speechless. And that doesn't happen often. I'm speechless. Oh. My days. Oh. My days. Oh. Right. We need to jump off at the station, don't we? Right. So, let's hop off here. Right. So, we've just hopped off the boat. I actually needed a couple of minutes then. Just after hopping off that boat before continuing just to try and compose myself to realign my jaw back in place once again i mean what have you guys done here like seriously what have you done have you gone and built a roam beater i think you may have possibly done i didn't think that was possible but we may have an actual roam beater wow this is just incredible i can't quite believe what it is that i'm looking at i need to try and form some kind of coherent sentence structure and words because people are watching the spotlight and they're expecting professionalism from matty as always you know it's nothing but the highest quality content on this channel with the most professional YouTuber you can ever wish to meet. So, right, come on, mate. Chop, chop. Pull yourself together and form some proper words. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> it's, it's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful. Like, just even the way that you've got the water just coming out of the sides here. Like this, this, this center water piece right here, you could be forgiven for maybe not quite putting the same level as detail and everything as you do on the on the sides which would be understandable but no no that's not good enough for you guys no you've got to then put these fountains in the side here you've got to put these nice fancy supports down there you've got to do all of this here look i mean look at that sundial with a gem in the center and then you've even got the coaster here which i've got I've got absolutely no idea what this coaster is, by the way. What is that? I'm trying to work out what kind of track that is. It's not a Gertschlauer because the track is too thick for that. I don't believe it's a Giga or Hyper Coaster. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. It might be some kind of like Interman launch or something. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. We'll be surprised together. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying... See, I told you, I can't even form sentences properly. Now we've got the snakeheads supporting the coaster. And then that centerpiece building. Oh my days, it's so good. It's so good. Anyway, right, come on. We need to get a move on. Right. I like the steps there. The golden steps coming up. So, off we come. Oh, we've got a tiki tiki just here. Oof. Ooga booga. Plip cam. Boogie woogie. <laughs> so, uh, Albus did tell me that when I got to the park, I didn't have to stay in plip cam should I not wish to. I could just tour the park however it was that I wished. And I think I would rather stay out of plip cam for the actual park itself because it just gives me a little bit more creative freedom with the camera to look around like this and just go up and down. What is this round here? Friend. Oh, oh, friend, friend, penguin friend. Are, are these actually named? No, animal statue penguin. Oh, penguin friend. For anybody that's never seen the in-betweeners, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, guys, I, I I just don't know what to say. I, I genuinely do not know what to say. This is incredible. How is this not crashing? How is this actually running on a PlayStation 5? Because the PCs that you've used, they are all reflections. They're all reflective surfaces. Now, I thought that a big part of the console crashing problem was reflective surfaces. And this entire park is reflective surfaces. And it's still not crashing. How have you done that? You've worked some magic here, I'm telling you. Oh, that looks like there's a little... Oh, no, okay. I thought there was something down there then. Ah, oh, no, I've got through the floor. Get up. There we go. Phew. Right, so we've got a ride entrance there. Look at the roof with the gold pieces, how it steps down. Like, just all them little details. Right, so we'll have a walk up that queue line in a moment. I'll come back to that in a second. I just want to carry on coming around here. So we've got the information kiosk. This ride must be turned off because we haven't seen it go past, have we yet? So it must be turned off at the moment. We've got a magic carpet just up there. We've got a first aid just here. I, I can't get over all the detailing. I, I can't believe it. I don't quite believe it. Right, so before we go over there, let's go back to this ride. So I don't know what this ride is. Is that even potentially the coaster? Maybe? I, I think we've only got the one coaster in the park i i believe i don't know but that's from what i can see i mean is this i think this might be the entire area but of course it's so highly detailed we're still going to be here for a while despite that well let's have a walk down this queue line shall we look at this queue line oh my days Wow. 
Right. Like, even the roof with the golden sundials there. Right. And up we come. I've, I've literally got no idea what this is. If I was to hazard a guess, I would say potentially that coaster, but it could be a flat ride. It, it could be anything. It could be literally anything. Right. Well, I would have never, ever guessed at a bird coaster. I mean, in all the time I've been doing spotlights, how many bird coasters have we been on? For the people who've been here the entire time, how many bird coasters have we been on? Not many. I bet you can count on one hand how many bird... What? Oh, bye-bye, birdie. What? What's going on? Um, It's glitching. Uh, yeah, I bet you could count on one hand how many of these bird coasters I've been on. But look at this station. Oh my days, it's so good. You've got the fountain just here. This is stunning. It's so beautiful. Just everything. It just all comes together. The music, everything. But right, anyway, let's go for a ride on this, shall we? So, strap in. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody.
Where do I even start with that? I mean, that was absolutely insane. That was so good. I mean, let's start with the actual ride itself. It was so smooth all the way around. The coasters that you've built in the past for your previous parks, they've always been amazing at being immersive and storytelling, but they've maybe not always necessarily been the smoothest, but that's never detracted from them. They've always been amazing coasters, but you've not been known for your coaster building skills, if that makes sense. They've maybe required a little bit of smoothing here and there, but that's never really mattered. It's never been a factor because the rides have been so good. However, that one was insanely smooth. I would say for actual coaster itself, and you take everything else away from that, that is your best coaster you've ever built. I mean, and then if we start on with the everything else around it all the set pieces and the triggers and the views oh just mwah, chef's kiss it was incredible absolutely incredible i loved that so much the shots of the park that you were getting especially as you were back over like that up there just above the magic carpet ride and then like kind of overlooking the entire park it was absolutely incredible yeah what a ride absolutely love that oh it's gone bye bye birdie it's set off again yeah that was amazing and i know recently in some of the spotlights i've said that things have been maybe world class what's above world class god tier yeah, we'll go with that. God tier. That's what this park is. It's God tier. It's just incredible. Absolutely amazing. But right, so where is the exit? Let's have a walk down the exit, which is just there. And this will bring us back to where we were before. And we'll start heading over that bridge. I mean, the thing is, this is the type of thing I expect to see in a triple a game launch imagine you're i don't know i'm trying to think of an example maybe an assassin's creed for example or something like that i don't know just just a triple a game a set piece or area like this would have hundreds of people working on it hundreds of development team this was a two-person project just albris and woman did this i mean how how this is absolutely incredible i don't want to just keep saying incredible and insane but what else am i supposed to say it's so so good the just the detailing absolutely everywhere i mean where are them people going is this the where are you guys going so there's the exit for the magic carpet is that just a different walkover? Yes, it does appear to be. So, right. Oh, we've got some people stood here. Oh, I wonder if these are named. Oh, let's have a look. So we've got... Oh, they are! So we've got Silex. We've got Welfare. We've got NH99. Oh, who's that? Somebody's ducking. Anthony Duhigg. Somebody's scared. Who's that? Oh, it's Floody Tomb. That is so fitting. That is so appropriate. Floody Tombs, he's scared. He's scared of Albus. Floody Tombs considered to be one of the best creators on the console. And he just sees Albus's parks and he's like, no, no, I refuse to admit it. No, no, cover my ears. I don't see a thing. <laughs> We've got Yan BBC. What? <laughs> uh, Mr. Antonio. I mean, these guys have got a lovely shot, haven't they? Ratspit. And, yeah, and then Silex. Oh, really nice little shout-outs there. I do know that me and Chrissy are somewhere in this park as well. So we're going to have to go and find us as well at some point. So we'll come down here. 
And that must be we, uh, where the guests are spawning, I would imagine. Yeah, that would be where the guests are coming from. So we won't go down there. We won't break the immersion. In normal, Matty style. Oh, just... Oh, this is so good. So as the guests come out, they walk out and then turn left and just be greeted with that. Wow. I think you may have built a Rome beater. I, I genuinely do. Now, there's a lot of people who will be tuning into this spotlight who may have never seen your Rome park. I strongly implore you to go back and check out that Rome park. I put it as my number one park of 2022 and for good reason i mean just go back and check out all of albrus's work so we had the aztecia we had um obviously the rome park the lord of the rings park there was uh, just the work that they do is absolutely incredible they deliver every single time we've got this little coffee shop court area we've got warren's coffee just down there is that supposed to be warren like there <laughs> I mean, just, like, just all the detail. Did anyone else just hear a chicken? Um, excuse me, somebody's lost their chicken. Their cockerel's running around. Somebody control their cockerel. <laughs> anyway, look at the uh, beautiful detailing around there. Behave, mate. <laughs> there it is again. Why is there a chicken? Right, so as we come down here, oh, I shout at Albus for trying to demonetize me, and then I do it to myself. Oh, gold confetti, please, Jerry. Imagine being the worker, the cleaner, who has to clean all this up at the end of the day. It's spraying out all day, and their sole job is to just pick up all of this confetti every single day. What a job that would be. I just... Oh, even like this little custom tree here, just everything everywhere, it's all so good. I don't know how long this spotlight is going to be, but it, it could be hours. We could make this spotlight hours and just go through every single little part, taking it all apart, seeing how you've done it all. all right. Just this flat ride here, look. It's just amazing. I really like the bridges that you've done with the custom supports there. And then, obviously, the wall that goes along there. Just, yeah, amazing. Right. I imagine this must be the queue line for it, is it? The queue line must come down here. No, that's the exit. So where would the entrance be for that? How do you actually queue up for this ride? Does it run parallel? Ah, right, okay, of course, the entrance is there. Okay. There's only one little person on it. Look, he's just there. All on his lonesome. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Right. So, let's come down here. So we've got a bumper cars. But look at that flat ride skin. Honestly, this is absolutely incredible. It's so, there's so much elevation in this park. Just like your previous box, you're so good at the... I don't know how to describe it. Would it be kind of like be the depth perception or something like that? Just the way that you're able to create these multi-layers, kind of like stepping up as it goes. And it just makes it so much more immersive, having them differing levels going up throughout the park. I can still hear that chicken. Will somebody please control their cockerel? Put it away somewhere. 
There's a time and a place for that, and it's not here. All right? <laughs> right. The waterfall in the background, Luke. There's even things like right at the top, Luke. Right at the very, 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 very top. Just a little tiny details, just up there. You, the amount of foliage work that's been done up here. That, I mean, let's face it. Nine out of ten people are not going to notice this. Insane. Stop, I, I just can't stop saying the same words. I can't help it. But right. We'll come round here. Oh, and enter at night. Oh, so I wonder what this is. Right, so let's swap that to night quickly. Right, and what is this, I wonder? Oh, my God. What? What, what, what? And that is a drop tower, isn't it? Oh my days, it's one of the sundials. I think we might have to go and try and find that and actually go for a ride on it. We've got the fanciest block of toilets in the world. All the detailing inside here. Yeah. Incredible. Again. So you can come in either side. So we'll come out and swap that back today again. Right, there we go. So I wonder where me and Chrissy are. I've got to go and find us. Just the choice of every single texture, every piece that you've used to create this has been chosen carefully. It's thorough, it's just insane. I can't get over the detail. I just can't quite wrap my head around it. How you've done it. Oh, right. So, nighttime seat two. So, let's swap that to night again. So, we've got lots of changes of time of day at the moment. Again, this queue line. Is this the sundial that we just saw, do we think? It certainly appears to be. <laughs> this queue line! What the hell? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I can't think of anything to say. So that's where the coaster went past earlier on. Oh, let's carry on coming down here. Into the darkness. The drum beats is actually making this really foreboding. Just <laughs> right, let's go for a ride on this, shall we? Enjoy everybody.
yeah once again that ride absolutely delivered it was so so good think of different words my don't say sensational or incredible um uh, think of something different it was wonderful <laughs> yeah absolutely love that it just gave such a good shot of the park right at the top and I really want to walk down the exit of this again. I just want to experience it again. I'm actually going to go quiet for a second, just so you can take in the sounds down here. I mean, how good is that? Even the floor texture as well with the gold on is this one of the best Q lines on console it's certainly got to be in contender hasn't it it really has it's so good well, right so turn right there down here up the stairs we'll follow these people with the balloons oh, oh there we go and I think we'll keep this at night now because I believe, although I don't want to admit it, that we're actually pretty much at the end of the park. So if I turn left there, no, we are. No, no, I refuse to accept it. No, 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 I'm not having it. This spotlight will not come to an end. I'm not doing it. I just want to stay here forever. I refuse to stop filming. You can't make me. Maybe the PlayStation can, because I can only do an hour spotlights. But you can't make me. And look at the night lighting around this park. And I didn't find me and Chrissy anywhere. Where? Where are we? There's... Ah, ah there's some statues there. Hang on a second. Is it's Chrissy? I found it. There she is, and that must be me as well. Matty, there you go. Look. Oh, um. Oh my days! Well, that's not very suitable for work, is it? I told you you tried to get me demonetized. I mean, it's a little bit lackluster. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you've done me a disservice there. Wow, it needs to be at least twice the length of that. <laughs> I mean, uh, wow. I don't know what to say. Not about that. I mean, about being the, having these statues here. I, I have lots to say about that, trust me. Um, <laughs> oh, that's completely put me off. I've got no idea what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, to be, like, immortalised in a park such as this and to be recognised and have... Like, I mean, almost kind of like that centre centre stage right there. Guys, I don't even know what to say. I think I can speak on behalf of both myself and Chrissy when we say thank you so, so, so much. Like, all of the hard work and time that I put into the channel and the spotlights, things like that, maybe not things like that... Maybe not things like that, but but things, things like that. Stop laughing, Chrissy. Chrissy sat next to me laughing. Shh, shh, I'm filming. But things like that make it all worthwhile. So thank you so, so, so much. So much. I mean... What do I even say about this park? What do I even say... I mean, I need to touch upon the night lighting. It's just beautiful. The lighting is perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's subtle and it's ambient. Yeah, what can I say about this park that I haven't already said throughout this entire spotlight? I do want to just come back here and swap that back today just so I can give out some closing thoughts. There we go. I, what 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 can I say? What can I say? When I spotlighted the Rome Park last year, I thought that 
I was never going to have that moment again. I thought that was going to be a one of a kind moment. I never quite have that jaw on the floor struggling to find the words to describe what I was thinking moment again. That was one of the best moments of my entire YouTube YouTube journey. If I was to if I was to stop spotlights from now, if I was to say this is my last ever spotlight and I'm not doing any more, I give up on YouTube, in ten years time, I would still remember the feelings that the Rome Park gave me and now this one in equal measure to find a park such as this on the console is just how how i thought we'd already seen the peak of what could be achieved on console and you proved me wrong once again what you and warren have done here is above world class it is god tier as i mentioned it's one of the best things i have ever seen i don't want to stop filming i just want to spend all day in this park taking it apart yeah absolutely incredible guys i've loved it i think i think the spotlight has spoken for itself with my reactions i've struggled to find the words take about take about the pair of you i mean just hang standing ovation standing ovation yeah you should both be very 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 proud of what you've achieved here very proud and i think i can safely say along with everybody else i cannot wait to see what you do next can you do another one like this and roam again i don't even know if that is possible but what did you all think of this park can you actually form a coherent sentence to actually describe what you think of this park you're gonna have to let me know down below in the comments but that's it for spotlights this year this was the final one of 2023 i'm going to be back next week or later this week should i say for a matty meets where i'll be sitting down with flooded tombs to discuss with him about his uh, sources of inspiration in the game and then i'll be showcasing some of my older creations in the game before closing out the year in a couple of weeks with the top 10 parks and top 10 rides of 2023 so i will see you all then until then take care stay safe look after yourselves and see you all very very soon bye everybody